Well, Brendan, welcome to Rome. Thank you. How do you view this one? Another opportunity, obviously, and I guess you know what you have to do to try and stay in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we're under no illusions of what we need to do. I think the first thing is keep 11 players on the pitch. That's the first thing. We've played in two games away and uh, we've, uh, we've lost three men over the course of the two games. And at any level, that's a challenge, but the Champions League level, that, that's, that, that's difficult. So, um, so, yeah, we understand what we need to do. And a win against Lazio, combined with the Feyenoord result, it really changes the narrative, doesn't it, of this European campaign so far? Yeah, I think that we've, we've been competitive uh, and, and I draw inspiration from the Atletico Madrid game at home when we were very competitive against a really good side, uh, against Lazio, where we deserved to, you know, I feel win the game, but instead we, we lost it at the end so um but certainly performance level when it's been 11 v 11 uh, i feel as if we've been competitive was that lazio game do you feel it was almost a sliding doors moment within the group the fact that Luis palmer thought he put you ahead and then right at the death lazio went and got the winner and, and took the points yeah well, it was obviously hard to take having done so well and, and obviously thinking that we were the team that was in the ascendancy to to get the three points so but it just shows you the level you know, I think that's the uh, always the learning, especially attacking players at this level. Very gifted, very talented, and the door opens for them to go through it. And sadly, that's what happened in that game. Keeping 11 players on the pitch is obviously paramount against Lazio, but what role have you had to play after the Atletico Madrid game? You know, are there scars there for the players as far as away performances in the Champions League? No, no, I don't think so. I think that throughout the course of the competition, whether it was way up fine order, I thought we started the game really well right through to half time, a game where uh, arguably the, bit, the better team and then we concede. And then obviously then in, early in the second half, we, we lose two players. So then it's a really, really uh, uphill task against a, a really good side. Atletico likewise started well, give away a, a disappointing goal early on, but we're, we're in the game, well in the game right through till, till half time, uh, even though we're down to 10 men. But of course, second half what was, was difficult for us. They done everything you'd expect. Playing against ten men, the level of play they have, how they pressed the game, how they made the pitch really big, and and on the night everything they hit went in. So um, so no, but this is a team that we uh, you know we were able to pick them up after that defeat. We we won our home game uh, against Aberdeen convincingly. The players showed the performance level. So uh, so we're ready for the the, the challenge. You lose 6 0 against Atletico Madrid, you beat Aberdeen 6 0. How do you bridge that gap for your players, for the team of going from the European level to the domestic level? How, how does it develop, do you feel, from a club perspective going forward? Well, it, it's two ways. It, it develops through the experience of the players. You know, lots of young players in the squad over these last couple of years getting experience at this level. So, our challenge as a club is to to, to be in the Champions League as often as you possibly can. So that experience gives you, uh, gives you the, the opportunity to grow and develop. And, and obviously quality. It, it's, it's not rocket science. Uh, to play at this level, you need to have quality. And, uh, and that's something that uh, over the course of hopefully my time here, that we can bridge that, that gap in quality in certain areas of the field that hopefully allows you to compete. And not just compete, but to win games. That's the thing, you've come back to Celtic for a second spell, but it's a new project. Do you need two, three, four transfer windows before the team looks the way you want it to look on the pitch? Well, there's no doubt it was, you know, coming back into the, the, the squad, what I felt in the summer, I felt it probably needed four players, and that was without losing anyone. So, um, but obviously losing key players, you having to replace. And then obviously, we, we, sadly for us, we've, we've had a lot of injured players this season. Uh, which affects the dynamic of the team. But over the course of my time here, it's to, to build a team that can compete, play to the level that we want to play football-wise, and, uh, and ultimately to gain you know, really positive results in European football. Because some younger players have obviously come into the club this, this calendar year. Have you had to put them in earlier than you would have anticipated, or was it always the plan to put them into to games such as this magnitude and, and see how they fare? Well, I think it's probably having to put them in a little bit earlier having for them having to to adapt but it's also a great experience for them you know they, they, they come to Celtic with an expectation they want to come and play and if they want to come and play in the highest level which is why they come to Celtic then 
th there's opportunities there for them to do that. And then it's about taking those opportunities. So, um, but yeah, I think the, the experiences will have really helped them. And, uh, and that's something that hopefully we can uh, gain from later, uh, later on in their career. And how much of it in, in the Champions League is it down to style? You obviously have a, a way Celtic play. Do you have to be more pragmatic in Europe or is it a case that you play your style and the team has to improve? Well, it's a bit of both. It's, you know, I think people talk about pragmatism. For me, it's about adaptability. You know, we, 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 play, the, we play and train how we want to play. You know, so we, we want to play an intense game. We want to play a fast game, a football game. But in any any time you're playing, you're going to have games, especially at this level, where you, you have to be in balance and you have to be able to defend well. I'm certainly not going to sit and, and look to camp the team deep in the half because a lot of the times at this level, maybe teams like ourselves, you may lose. And I'd rather lose playing how we want to play than uh, and, and going out with that dignity and, and stand and fight and for what we for what we want to play. Um, but there's no doubt you have to you also have to use your brain. You know, you can't, uh, you can't turn games into basketball games, you know. So we want to play with an educated pressure in the game. We want to play how we, we can, and I think we've shown that we can do. But it's little details at this level, both against the ball and, and with the ball, that makes a difference. And it's a great opportunity to come here and, and try and get a result, isn't it? And then take everything back to Celtic Park on match day six. Yeah, it's brilliant. I think there's a great opportunity for us. We showed against Lazio uh, at home that we're more, we can more than compete. And uh, if we get that little break within the game, then, uh, yeah, I believe we can get a result.